Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, economic sanctions imposed by the international community have begun to exert significant pressure on Russia's defense industry, particularly impacting its capability to manufacture advanced weaponry. According to recent intelligence disclosed by the British Ministry of Defense, MOD, intelligence services on April 9, 2024, one of the most conspicuous casualties of these sanctions appears to be Russia's ability to produce the latest generation of its cruise missiles, notably the KH-101, NATO reporting name as 23A Kodiak, a cornerstone of its long-range precision strike arsenal. Photographs sourced from open channels, dated March 31, 2024, depict remnants of missile debris strewn across a field within Saratov Oblast, located in southern Russia. Initially speculated to belong to a Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicle, further analysis has led intelligence analysts to conclude with high confidence that the wreckage originates from a Russian as 23A Kodiak, KH-101, air-launched cruise missile. The incident is believed to be the aftermath of a malfunctioning Kodiak missile, intended for targets within Ukraine but instead crashing within Russian territory earlier on the same day. Saratov Oblast holds strategic significance for Russian long-range aviation bomber operations, housing Engels Airfield, which serves as a launching pad for several bombers capable of deploying such missiles. The KH-101, as 23A Kodiak, stands as a linchpin in Russia's strategic arsenal, boasting an operational range of approximately 4,000 kilometers. It has been frequently employed against Ukraine, targeting vital infrastructure, including energy facilities. The malfunction of such a high-profile missile, compounded by the implications of production challenges possibly induced by international sanctions and the rush to meet operational demands amidst ongoing conflict, underscores a notable decline in the quality and reliability of Russia's military hardware production capabilities. This incident not only underscores the tangible ramifications of economic sanctions on the Russian defense industry but also raises doubts about the efficacy and dependability of its military assets amid the protracted conflict in Ukraine. The revelations from the British MOD underscore the broader strategic implications of international sanctions and their pivotal role in shaping military outcomes on the ground. The KH-101, NATO designated as 23A Kodiak, represents a strategic air-to-ground cruise missile developed by Russia, renowned for its extended range and capacity to carry both conventional and thermonuclear warheads. With dimensions of 7.45 meters in length and a wingspan of 3 meters, the missile can weigh up to 2,400 kilograms and carry a warhead of 400 kilograms. Engineered to minimize radar detection, it can achieve speeds of up to 900 kilometers per hour and reach distances of up to 5,500 kilometers. Navigation is facilitated through an inertial guidance system, satellite navigation via the GLONASS system, and terrain comparison guidance, enabling precise targeting across the entirety of Ukraine's territory. Recent deployments of the KH-101 against Ukraine have underscored its strategic significance within Russia's military arsenal. These missiles have been utilized in various high-impact strikes on Ukraine's critical infrastructure and military installations. The KH-101's blend of extended range, precision, and stealth capabilities poses a formidable challenge for air defenses. Nevertheless, Ukrainian air defense has demonstrated notable success in intercepting these missiles, even prior to the deployment of advanced Western systems like the Patriot Missile Defense System. Russian forces have leveraged KH-101 missiles for diverse targets, ranging from airfields to vital infrastructure, highlighting its role as a pivotal strategic asset. The missile's development prioritized stealth characteristics, including a reduced radar cross-section and the capacity for carrying sizable payloads over extensive distances. Notably, it can be launched from strategic bombers such as the 295 ms and 2160, augmenting its strategic reach and deployment flexibility. Ukrainian defenses have adapted adeptly to counter the KH-101 threat, successfully intercepting numerous missiles through advanced air defense systems and portable anti-aircraft missile systems manpads. Despite efforts by Russia to enhance the KH-101's capabilities, including the integration of radar and heat traps to evade air defenses, Ukrainian forces have continued to demonstrate resilience and effectiveness in neutralizing these threats. In conclusion, the incident involving the malfunctioning KH-101 missile in Saratov Oblast underscores the multifaceted impact of economic sanctions on Russia's defense industry and raises pertinent questions regarding the sustainability and reliability of its military capabilities in the face of international pressure. 
As the conflict in Ukraine persists, the strategic landscape continues to evolve, with economic sanctions playing a pivotal role in shaping military dynamics and outcomes. That's all for now, see you later.